Today we're going to make custard and white chocolate biscuits and these are absolutely yummy and I'm sure you'll make them lots and lots of times once you've had a go. So in my bowl I've got 100 grams of butter. I already weighed it out because I wanted it to be soft so it's just been sat in the bowl in the warmth of my kitchen and you can see that it, it's now nice and soft. So to that I'm going to add 120 grams of caster sugar. So I get my scales and I can leave the butter in the bowl. I put my bowl on there. I'm going to reset it to zero so it's only weighing the sugar. So 120 grams of caster sugar. So just be careful as you get to almost enough in there. I've got three grams too much, so I'm going to be nice and accurate. Take it out, tiny bit more. There, perfect, 120 grams. And my next job is to beat the butter and the sugar together well. So take it off the scales, otherwise you'll damage the scales. And just use the back of the spoon just to soften the butter against the side of the bowl, like that. And that helps to incorporate the sugar into the butter as well. So you're just going to keep going like that, build up your muscles until both ingredients are creamed together. There, I've been working at this for a couple of minutes and both ingredients are creamed together nicely now so we can add our next ingredients, which are half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. So measure that out, pop it in your bowl. And one egg. Now I'm gonna use a large egg. That helps the mixture come together better. And I'm going to crack it onto the edge of a glass. The egg cracks much better onto that than onto the plastic bowl. Open the egg like that. Pop the egg in the glass. Just check you've not got any little bits of eggshell in there. And if you have, get them out with a little spoon. And then just give it a little beat with a fork. Just to mix it together like that. And then we're going to add that to our mix in our bowl. Back to our wooden spoon and just begin to mix those two together. It's come together nicely now. I'm going to add my flour, my custard powder and my chocolate chunks. So I put my bowl back onto the scales. I set it to zero so I'm only weighing the weight of the flour. And I'm going to add 150 grams of self-raising flour. There, 150 grams. I'm going to set my scales to zero again and I'm going to weigh in 65 grams of custard powder. Fifty-six. Sixty-one. There. Sixty-five grams of custard powder. So the final ingredient to add is 65 grams of white chocolate. So 65 grams is 11 squares of chocolate with one remaining over there, which you can probably just eat if nobody's watching. And now we're going to cut them into small chunks. So I'm going to follow the lines in the chocolate bar to start with, like that. And then turn it round and come down the other way. And then I'm going to cut each of these squares probably into quarters. So I'm going to come back down like that. And then I'm going to come across this way. So I'm keeping my fingers well away from the cutting edge of the knife and applying the pressure at either end of the knife. And there I have my chocolate chunks, which I'm going to add to my bowl. So everything's in the bowl now, including the chocolate chunks. And I'm going to mix this until it comes together to form my biscuit dough. I'm just going to turn it gently like that and that will help being, to incorporate all the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. I see it's beginning to come together now. Make sure you scrape all of the wet mixture off of your spoon, otherwise you'll end up with all the butter and sugar on the spoon and not in with the flour, chocolate and custard powder. Once you get to this stage, you can stop using the spoon. Scrape all your mix off again like that. And then we're just going to use our hands now to bring it together before we shape it into the little balls to make the cookies. So put your one hand in the bowl, 
just bring it together like this and you'll feel it begins to get quite sticky in your hand use the sticky bit to pick up all the dry crumbs in the bottom of the bowl together in one big lump there now so my next job is to actually shape it into my cookies Well, I've got a couple of baking sheets ready, lined with baking parchment to stop the cookies sticking to the baking trays. I'm going to take little balls of dough. Your recipe book says about walnut sized. I'm just going to roll it into a ball like that. Pop it on my tray and keep going until I've used up all of my mixture. So this is my last bit of dough. I'm just going to roll it into a ball. I think this one's going to be a little bit too big. So I'm going to take a tiny bit off of that one. And then have a look and just add this to any that look a bit tiny. You want every one to be the same size so that they cook consistently. So I've got two trays and I'm just going to press the top of each biscuit with my fingers just to flatten it very slightly. And then we're going to put them in the oven. So we've set the oven to 180 degrees or 160 degrees fan and we're going to pop them in the oven for 12 minutes and have a check but they'll probably need up to 15 minutes. I've taken my cookies out of the oven they took 15 minutes to cook so that was um, just like the recipe book told us every oven's different so the oven at home for you might take slightly less time or a little bit more so you can either leave them to cool on the tray like that or you can pop them onto a cooling rack so once they've cooled down a little bit on the tray, you just lift the paper, pop them on the cooling rack and uh, put the kettle on and make mum or dad or whoever else is at home a nice cup of tea and take them a lovely white chocolate and custard biscuit.